We want scientists to commit to end severe suffering and change procedures so they cause animals as little pain and psychological suffering as possible. Laboratory animals are used for many different purposes in research and testing, and each area of use raises specific ethical, welfare and scientific issues. The RSPCA has pledged to reduce the number of animals who experience severe suffering when they're used in research and testing. Obviously all levels of suffering are of concern for the RSPCA. We're opposed to the use of animals in procedures that can cause them pain, suffering or distress. But severe suffering is of the greatest concern to us and we think it's of the greatest concern to the public as well. Under UK law, animal experiments are classified according to the level of suffering they can cause. There are four categories, mild, moderate, severe and unclassified. In the unclassified experiments, animals are used under terminal anaesthesia, so they shouldn't experience any suffering once they've gone under the general anaesthetic. The kind of experiments that can cause severe suffering are quite varied. For example, if animals are being used to study diseases that can cause severe suffering in humans, then it stands to reason that these animals can experience severe suffering as well. Some safety testing procedures can cause high levels of suffering to animals and unfortunately a lot of procedures that are involved to see how well vaccines work, including vaccines for companion animals, can cause laboratory animals to suffer severely. Our aim is the replacement of animal experiments with humane alternatives worldwide. Until this can be achieved, we want to see that the minimum numbers of animals are used, with a minimum amount of suffering and the best possible quality of life. Under new laboratory animal legislation that will come into force in the UK from January 2013, researchers are going to have to assess how much each experiment caused animals to suffer, and they'll have to make those data publicly available. And this means that we'll be able to track the amount of severe suffering that's actually caused to animals, we'll be able to see which kinds of research cause the most suffering, and we'll be able to see whether we're able to make a real difference in the number of animals who experience these levels of suffering. It is essential that animal suffering is accurately recognised and reported. The RSPCA wants scientists to be more aware of all the different causes of animal pain, suffering and distress, and to do their best to ensure that their reporting reflects the animal's actual experience. How can you help? Be aware of the price that laboratory animals pay for medical research, the pursuit of knowledge and the drive to market new chemicals and products. Make your views known to your MP. It is important to make the government aware that you care about the suffering of laboratory animals. Make your voice heard. Tell the UK government to set strict limits on the level of suffering permitted and commit to end severe suffering for laboratory animals. Support the RSPCA's campaigns so we can continue to lobby the government and work with scientists to improve the welfare of animals used in research.